Yes, we are still here, Meredith Morakovitz, alongside Adam Ottavino. Adam, how are you? How is your family? Uh, we're good. We're doing well. I uh, can't complain over here. What have you guys been up to as you're trying to stay safe, stay inside? Oh, you know, just trying to uh, do a little homeschooling with the girls. And, um, you know, I'm also trying to obviously stay in shape, keep my arm moving, that sort of thing, uh, you know, so that I can be ready at a moment's notice if I need to be. Has it been difficult to try to stay in playing shape due to the circumstances? Yeah, I don't think uh, playing shape is probably really possible, but I can get right on the edge of that where if I have to ramp up um, quickly, then, then I'm able to do that. Where have you been throwing? Uh, just in the backyard, I have a little uh, net and uh, just uh, keeping the arm going and basically doing stuff that I usually do in the off season, maybe a little more intensity. Um, I don't want to lose too much of what I gained in spring, but yeah, just trying to do, make do with what we have. I have a little gym in the basement as well. So, you know, I'm kind of one of the lucky ones probably. Now, did you see the video of Garrett Cole and his wife playing catch? Yeah, yeah, I saw that. Have you enlisted your wife to play catch at all? Well, my wife didn't play college softball, so I don't think that she's quite up to that. But, you know, we throw, we throw some Nerf balls around sometimes. I'm trying to, you know, train my uh, little ones to be able to catch at a young age, too. So we're having a little fun with it. Now, you've been very active on social media, doing a lot of Insta stories. And your daughters and your wife, they're all participating. Has that been a fun part of your day? Yeah, yeah, we're just trying to engage with the fans a little bit. I've been getting a lot of DMs and um, comments and stuff like that. So we figure i uh, got to give the people what they want and um, try to include the family as much as possible to make it kind of a fun experience for all of us. What's one of the craziest fan questions you've received so far? Um, I don't know about crazy, but it's just the volume. The, the sheer volume of it is nuts. Like as soon as I put the ask me a question icon on there, like I get usually over a thousand questions. So just trying to comb through them, trying to find something interesting and something I haven't already answered. And then also something that maybe um, my older daughter can be involved with as well. Now, your wife has been running the production. Are you paying her a day rate for a freelance rate for all the production work she's been doing over this time? Well, we can't let her know that that's a thing. So we got to keep her. We got to keep her working cheap here. So, uh, <laughs> no, she, just, she really likes it. She likes to kind of have the banter back and forth with me. Now, you mentioned the other day that you've been missing baseball but you've been trying to watch some old games just to be connected with the sport. Like everybody, we're all missing baseball. So what games have you watched so far? Um, a while back, there was two perfect games going on at the same time. Cohen's perfect game was on Yes, and then Mark Burley's perfect game was on MLB Network at the same time. So I was flipping back and forth between those. And then yesterday I watched the Mets and Astros game six, 86 NLCS game, and I commented, uh, to my dad on Instagram about it because they were actually at that game and they left me in like mall, like some daycare in a mall so they could go to that game. Then the game ends up going like 17 innings or 18 innings. And so my mom had to bail out of there like in the eighth of the night to go get me. But I always think that's a funny, uh, a funny baseball related story. <laughs> Is that one of those stories that you never let your parents forget? Oh yeah, totally. My, my dad says that it, you know, it makes me, it made me a little tougher, you know, but, uh, I like to, I like to um, use that as an example of my parenting versus their parenting. <laughs> <laughs> now, what's the most creative thing you've done with the kids so far? Because I know you're all together. You're spending a lot of time together. It has to be somewhat difficult to keep them entertained all day. Yeah, it is. They're really missing their extracurricular activities and their friends and all that. So we've been doing a lot of uh, different, you know, art projects, you know, making necklaces, painting, doing coloring books. Um, I've been trying to teach my older daughter a lot about space and um, also different animals. So just trying to relate as much as possible, you know, and use the tools that we have around us to try to, you know, have a little fun and try to stay creative. We have some other ideas, but we're trying to space them out a little bit so that we don't run out of them, you know. How many times have you watched Frozen so far during this uh, stay at home period? <laughs> I'd say Frozen is on from start to finish at least twice in our house every day. Uh, Frozen <laughs> 2. Um, you know, they were obsessed with the first one. They love the second one. I feel like I'm getting to the point now where I'm starting to know all the words to all the songs. So we're getting to a good spot. <laughs> now I'm going to put you on the spot a little bit. Family okay. excluded. We're just talking teammates. If yeah. you had a quarantined with one teammate, who would it be? Um, that's a good question. One teammate for the quarantine. 
Uh, well, I'm really close with DJ, but I don't think DJ would be the best quarantine buddy because he's probably going the most crazy over no baseball. So um, maybe Aaron Judge, you know, he's very calm, very chill. And I think he's got a generally a really positive attitude. So that's what you need during this time. How have you been staying in touch with teammates? Is there a group text going on? Are there any Zoom calls, video calls? Um, we have a bunch of group chats that I'm involved in. There's like a bullpen one, like a whole pitching staff one, and some other ones with some other guys. And, you know, just a little back and forth with the guys to make it feel, you know, kind of like, you know, I mean, right now I think we'd be in Tampa right now for the fourth game of the year, like would have been today. So just trying to stay in that mind frame a little bit. It's definitely weird for all of us to uh, – not be playing at this time of the year. They had talked about possibly incorporating more double headers to potentially get more games in. Do you like that idea or dislike the idea of maybe a weekly double header when things do get underway? I like the idea. I think we have to try to get as many games as we can in to kind of uh, try to keep the integrity of, you know, the baseball season. I don't know that we'll get 162, but I think in baseball, more games is better. Kind of does help separate um, who's the best from not the best in terms of the teams. Um, and then we'll see what happens in the playoffs. But for me, I mean, whatever we got to do, I know that we're used to having a few days off here and there, but I feel like, you know, double headers, maybe a little more of an expanded roster. That could be something that could uh, be beneficial. What do you miss most about playing the game right now? Um, I think, I think it's just, um, you know, the daily routine of it all. Um, you know, I like, I like everything. I like the, all the stuff in the pregame. You know, getting, keeping your body ready, uh, doing all your homework on the other team, figuring out your strategies, talking with your teammates, all that nitty gritty stuff. And then, you know, the game is almost just kind of an extension of all that. Once it starts, you know, you just, you just go out and compete and uh, let the chips fall where they may. But, you know, I just think the daily being in it with a group of guys together for uh, six months is kind of the fun part. All right. I have to ask you, it looks like you're in some type of a home office or something. What is the picture behind you? This is a uh, stippling uh, painting that was made by my mother-in-law, actually. Um, she's really incredible. This is uh, Miles Davis, who's one of my favorite musicians of all time. And you can see she, it, she does it with little dots. So she did that for me uh, when we got this house. So I was really excited about that. Super cool. A couple more quarantine stay-at-home questions for you before we let yep. you go. A food that you need to have or that you needed to make sure that you were stocked up on knowing that you were going to have to stay at home for a while? For me, it's cinnamon raisin bread. Like, uh, I'm obsessed with raisin bread, so I use it for everything, like with my eggs in the morning or tuna sandwiches or to even to put into soup. So make sure we have a lot of bread. And um, also, uh, you know, even like clementines are another one. Like, I seem like I'm snacking all, the, all, all throughout the day, and I'm trying to stay somewhat on the healthy side of that. So those are my two answers, I guess, raisin bread and uh, clementines. <laughs> Who makes most of the meals, you or your wife? Um, I usually do breakfast, lunch, and then she usually does dinner. So we split it up that way. Dinner, she, she's really good at the dinner dishes. She makes really good meat sauce and uh, pasta and like zucchini noodles and stuff like that. And I'm pretty good at like eggs and pancakes and, you know, lunch, like sandwiches, and stuff like that. Do you feel like you've become a professional chef during this time? Because I know I've been cooking a lot more because I'm home and I'm like, oh yeah, I'm, I'm totally a chef now. <laughs> I do think I'm getting better. I wouldn't quite call myself a chef, but. You know, I think it's like anything else. I'm getting a lot more repetitions than I'm used to. So, you know, I think uh, pretty soon here, I'll, I'll get the nice hat and I'll be proud of myself. <laughs> I'll use the chef term very lightly. I don't want to uh, have anybody that actually is doing that as a profession think that I can compete. Is there one message that you'd like to send to not only the fans, but everybody that's obviously dealing with this crisis in the world right now? Well, I think even though we're, um, we're um, quarantined off from one another, I think it's important to stay connected, you know, any way you can. I mean, we're lucky enough, we're in a day and age with the internet, you know, video chatting, FaceTiming, making a phone call. I mean, that's a good way to like, you know, not feel so isolated and not so lonely. So for me, that's been a big key is just trying to stay connected with my family and friends as much as possible. And I feel like that really helps my mental state. Well, Adam, thank you so much for joining us. I hope you and the family remain safe. And you've been doing a wonderful job connecting with fans on Instagram. So if you haven't checked out his page, guys, follow him. He's been answering questions almost every night. All right. Thanks, Meredith.